All right, everyone, welcome back. Today I will be continuing Wii Sports Resort. So, we're back there. I will be doing, today, I will be doing wakeboarding and frisbee. So, I'm just going to go in order from left to right and then from top to bottom. So, there's that. All right, today's fact of the day. The 100 years war between England and France actually lasted 116 years. So, the name is inaccurate slightly. Alright, here we go. Okay, starting on wakeboarding. So, wakeboarding is pretty straightforward. So, pick one player, and then again, you gotta calculate your controller every time at least once. Alright, so then, here we are. Obviously, picking yourself. Uh, start on beginner, of course, if you're a beginner. I mean, and even if you're better than beginner, start on beginner just so you can get warmed up a little bit. That's my suggestion. I'm actually going to move this to the top right because you need to be able to see the bottom of your screen. Alright, so you start off behind this boat. Uh, you can practice it before you do it. So I'm just going to show you the controls there. So, the boat will drive and it's pulling you along. So you hold your new remote, sideways on the screen with uh, for smash mode, you're going to play that, and you hold it like this with your thumb, even with the two, and then you pad, and you just kind of tilt it between the down. So then what you do, you go over the, the weight, and you want to pull up on the wheel, and then you got your trip foot. So you do this. You have to land flat as you can. So not like that, so you can land flat so you can the water, and then you lose your speed. So, it's pretty straightforward, you get all the controls. And then when you get to the first of the obstacle, don't hit the obstacle, you don't hit the remote angle in the obstacle, then you have to slow down and stop and you have to slow down, stop, and you have to start the street. Alright, so here we go. Gonna skip back to the correct thing here. Alright, so here we go. So the boat will drive up and around, kind of, and you have, hold on, way to go. just real quick, if you'll, not that, so if you'll look up there, you'll see the time where you start with two minutes, you have two minutes, so, right on. Flat, you get points, now look, nice. I did a trick, so I went from 11 to 21, right and I went to 42. So it goes up in increments, but then looks like it's left my streak. Nice. Now I'm back up to 36 because I did this. See? But then it restarts. So try and land all of this. Because eventually you'll be getting a hundred for every trick that you do. Because you're just that good. So I mean it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you a little bit of intermediate. Uh because there, it's more difficult, but not a whole lot. I'll show you. Alright, so again, one player. And it's me again. So, intermediate. Here. The controls are the same. The controls will be the same. On I haven't played this one on this character. I, I tried it out on this one. But then, you'll see that the course is different. Obstacles. Yeah. Like right on. You can hit it. See? And you gotta start over. So don't hit the stone thing. Or the obstacle. Whoa. Try and control yourself as much as you can. Wow. But not hit the nice. Because again you gotta restart your character and your right here. So then expert, obviously. Uh it has some man-made obstacles similar to that. But it's pretty straightforward. All right, next is frisbee. So we'll do frisbee dog first because it's up there. I do know a trick for this, and I will share it with you once you get there. All right, so again, one player. All right, so you can change your throwing style. So I'm going to change me just to show you. So left-handed, right-handed. Of course, I'm right-handed. Um, but throwing style. So here's the menu that explains that. Hold on, let me just. So, manual style. Release B as you throw to let go of the frisbee. Uh, that's for if you've played for a while. 
Uh, and then automatic, of course, is when it just automatically does it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I like manual, personally. I just think manual is better. Uh, but everyone makes their own decisions, and everybody is at a different skill level. Alright, so here we go. Oh, you see, so then, you just spawn in, and you have a dog. Of course. There he is. You don't look too bright, but you can catch a flying disc. Alright, so you point at the frisbee with your Wii remote, and you press B to hold it. Don't let go of B in this area. Alright, and then you just kind of frisbee motion to try and get it where you want to go. So, if it's within this big green circle at all, it'll catch a ball. If it's in frisbee, not ball. If it's in that purple part, I'll try and get it in there. If you will jump up and catch it. Uh, watch this. See, look. He jumps. You get a hundred points. So, you want to get it there as much as you can, obviously. Because the goal is to get as many points as you can. So, here we go again. Now, in the, the middle, the circle does move. It moves left and then right later. Uh, that one was an orange, which is worth 50. So, you have 25, 50, 100. And then... That was not even good. Way off to the side. Oh, he almost got it. He was almost there. He was so close. Alright, so then... You really got to try... On this last one, number 5, you really got to try and get it in that purple. I didn't, unfortunately, but... You got to try, because here is why. So now, we're on the second half. You have multiple players. Each person does a half, and then you go to the next guy. So now, there's this big old balloon there marked with a 50. So... If you hold 1, 2, A, and B, watch this. Oh, didn't even have to hit it. It's popped. You get the points automatically. Now, if you get... That was a poor throw. If you get the Frisbee into the 100, then the next balloon is worth 100. I will try to show you. Here we go. Pop the balloon again. Just makes your throw easier. A little more straightforward. Oh, that's a beautiful throw right on the arrow. Did you guys see that? So look, I got 100 plus 50 because of the balloon. Now watch, this balloon is going to be purple and be worth 100. See, there it is. Boom, that's 100 points right there. Now, to get the points from the balloon, you do have to make it into the circle. Observe. I will show you this. So I got the points in the balloon, right? So I hit the balloon. Now let's say I just sank it and it goes over there. You get an X, and you don't get any points from the balloon. So, I'm just going to do my last throw real, real quick. But that is really the gist of Frisbee Dog. You can curve it by holding your remote tilted like this, like you would a real Frisbee. Uh, it's pretty intuitive with that, but be careful, because sometimes it messes it up. So don't rely 100% on that. So that was not a great score. Obviously, I have a way better score of 1,110. Uh, so there's that. I'm level 805. I think play this one a lot. Alright, so last but not least for this video is Frisbee Golf, which is pretty basic. So hold on, I want to try something. So while it's loading in, after you select your meat, well, pick three holes. I'm just going to pick three holes. Resort A. Alright, and then hold down 2 while well, it's loading. I want to see if it turns off the heads up display or HUD like it did in Wii Sports. So then, you have three different Frisbees. Uh, you have the driver, the wedge, I think, and the putter. It's just a Frisbee. It's just size different. Your first breed is selected. It did remove the HUD, I think. Hold on. Remove the camera. Yeah, it removed the HUD. So let's start over. And it should give us the map and the wind. So let's pick our frisbee. B. Not A. Oh, I guess it didn't. So here we go. You just throw it. It's golf ball with a frisbee. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, then wherever it lands is where you shoot from next. So, I'll shoot again. It's a good one, obviously, because they're clapping for me, right? I'm going to pick this one this time. So that one was poor, but I will show you a little bit of that curve. So, 
So, we're in bounds, obviously, because it's safe. So, I'm going to pick this one again. So, if you throw it like this, uh, like that. You can see, though, it's like kind of curving a little bit towards the right because of how I threw it. So, let me do a better one here. So, then if you go up, that was down. So, that one was down. So, look how you see it's curving left. That's the basic idea. I threw it out of bounds, of course. Now, do you realize I'm just trying to teach, so I'm not playing as good as I normally would. But, see, look there, it's curving that way again. So, you get the idea. You can curve it either way, uh, but that's to be it. So, that's all I have for you today. Uh, have a nice day. I'm going to be nice to other people. And if you like this channel, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.